Well, what is this game? And what does this have to do with Verdun? Well, this has everything to do with Verdun. Because this game was developed by the same people at Two Beats. Who also made this game. And that's today's showcase. We're going to be talking about Verdun. A squad-based multiplayer first-person shooter game that was released in early access in 2013, actually, was when it was in beta, I believe. And it's a World War I simulator, and it has three different campaigns that you can do here. Uh, the first one that was released was on the Western Front, and then the later was separately released on the Eastern Front, and the last one, the latest one, is the Italian Front. So we'll be talking about the initial release of this game. And it was released here, early access on Steam, uh, on Steam only, in 2013. And it wasn't until we get sometime in 2016 when it was released on PS4. And then sometime later, it was released on all platforms. Epic Store, Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam. This is an old game, a vintage game, and uh, I wanted to talk about this because I'll be live streaming it from time to time, and usually when I do a showcase video, it means I might be live streaming this, these games, whatever I'm showcasing. So I'm just kind of showing you on the menus here just quickly. This is not going to be an in-depth analysis or kind of any review at all. It's just a showcase, just to show you around. Get the idea what the menus look like and everything and the settings you can do. Um, one thing, there is not, there is not a config file. Just to repeat, there is not a config file. Um, there, there is access to a config menu, but it's pretty much the same as this menu, so I'm not even waste time with it. <laughs> um, so down in the lower left-hand corner, we have the YouTube channel. We've got their Twitch channel, their Facebook, Discord, X and Steam. So I recommend uh, if you want to get updates for this game, um, any kind of updates. I know it's an older game, but if you want to get any kind of updates, community events, or any kind of clan events, I would suggest joining all of these. Uh, specifically Discord, because you can get access to any kind of clan events or community events. So you can join those as you wish find other players, you know, um, join their Discord and uh, connect with them and you can use the Discord as a microphone or just use Skype as a microphone, it's up to you. So here's the home page, here's what it looks like. Um, we have the standard uh, things play, account, options, play. You have uh, the front lines, there are no players on there. In the front lines, the objective of the squad is to capture all the enemy sectors. Victory is achieved either by taking all the sectors or by holding onto the majority when the time runs out. All right. Uh, squad defense. Desperate survival of the trench line with your squad against waves of enemies. How long can you survive? Okay. Um, and then we have... Um, was this attrition? Oh, and team deathmatch. Two teams are locked in a battle of attrition. The team with the most kill wins. Okay, so yeah, team deathmatch. These are familiar matches. If you've ever played Battlefield One, World War uh, One simulator game, uh, yeah, you, these are familiar. Then we have rifle deathmatch. You just deathmatch with a rifle. Every player is on their own. So this is just single deathmatch. With bolt action rifles, will bring victory. The player with the most kill wins. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Here's custom. You can set up this mode. It allows you to create and customize your own public or private matches. So that's cool. So you can get friends in your deal. So there's no, nobody on here on the front lines. You click on these and join them. Uh, we have account information. There I am. Some guy with the top hat. I don't know. He can't really move around. As you can see, I've only played for 15 minutes. 
I, I don't have a lot of experience. It shows you everything, it, a lot of good details, um, headshots, melee kills, if you like this kind of statistics, which is good. And then um, it shows the kind of rifle, the best weapon uh, So uh, that you use, there's your username. Okay, squad. Well, I'm not in any squads, but here are all the different squads. Let's see, there's a lot of them. Wow, look at that. So, um, they're all level zero, so you just make your squad and uh, you'll, you'll progress through these uh, achievements here. Uh, let's see, weapons. Well, okay, it tells you all the weapons you use. <laughs> Your accuracy, everything. These are all the weapons in the game, by the way. A lot of weapons, a lot of good weapons. Ooh, look at that. Grenade launcher, I like that one. I like that handgun, too, a revolver. So we got some good weapons in here. Good mortars and all kinds of goodies in here. And it keeps track of all your weapons you use and how many kills you get and shots and hits, time use, and all that stuff. And then, of course, we have the standard achievement. You unlock them at certain points in, you know, as you get more XP or whatever you do. You just do a whole bunch of them. I don't know what you get when you unlock these, but it doesn't matter. Here's some medals. I guess that's kind of the same as achievements. I don't know. Uh, if you get medals, does it show up on your uniform? I don't know. <laughs> Give it a shot. See what happens. Uh, let's see. That's my account. Then we have options. Of course, standard. Um, I just leave everything default. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some things you can tweak here, but like I said, there's no config file. So if you uh, V-Sync is off, I don't know, I just keep everything default. It seems to run okay with my rig. Controls, of course, it has all the standard controls. Um, sensitivity, uh, however you like. It's got it with the aiming, sensitivity, horizontal, vertical. It's up to you. Some people like a very stiff sensitivity in their mouse. They don't like a lot of movement, which is good. That's very competitive. Um, so whatever you like. What, uh, some people like it really loosey-goosey, but uh, I don't really like it that loose. <laughs> I'd like to keep it fairly fairly stiff. I mean, the way I played it the other day was, uh, it was, it was okay. You can invert, of course. So it has a good lot of good uh, uh, settings there, very dynamic. Here's key bindings. You can change that whenever you want. I just use the WASDA. Audio, of course. Um, music volume. I know for me, I like to turn all this crap off, to tell you the truth. I mean, for the music. Sound effects is fine. So let's just turn the music off. Uh, sound effects volume, fine. Master volume. Voice is good. We have voice chat. Okay, hit marker. Okay, so that, that should be it. And of course, credits. Okay, the last thing you have is the front. Oh, okay, so I've got this western front, and then there's an Easter front you can buy, and then there's the Italian front. So, okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, I wanted to talk about the negative aspects of this game and why it sort of sunk in popularity. Uh, one of the reasons, as I showed you on their official website, and also... <clears throat> I showed you on the uh, Steam page, I hope, that uh, you have to purchase these extra campaigns. They're not available for you for free. So instead of having a game that just includes all the campaigns, they want you, they need you, they wanted you to buy the separate campaigns. So that's probably one of the biggest negatives of the game. Uh, Instead of making it like a Battlefield 1 or uh, any other game like that, um, instead of just having available to you all the campaigns, they want you to buy the separate campaigns. And the problem with the separate campaigns is they made sort of improvements on them. And some of the improvements weren't exactly ideal. Uh, and it's not worth buying those campaigns because they're not very World War I-ish. This, this campaign by itself, this first one here, uh, that I'm playing. I'm not playing any expansion. I'm not spending the extra $35 to buy the other campaigns. It's a ripoff. Um, is that... <clears throat> I've got some music in the back there. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, 
is that they kind of made these improvements on the on these uh, campaigns, the extra campaigns they want you to buy. Uh, they try to make it a little too uh, modern day gaming, World War Two ish kind of uh, a little more fast pace. Uh, here, as you can see, me just playing the base game, and, and I'm, it's a bit clunky. Uh, with loading, and it's supposed to be that way because it's supposed to simulate World War One. It's a lot of trench warfare. Uh, it's if you're kind of slow paced. You kind of have to wait for the whistle to blow to attack or the whistle to blow to defend. So it's kind of, you know, it, it was very unique in that regards when the game came out in this base game. But each additional campaign they came out with, the Eastern Front. Uh, they made these improvements and they took away some of these aspects of the game that made it unique. And it's, it's kind of too bad. Uh, and I think that was the, one of the reasons why it died in popularity. No one wants to buy extra campaigns. They rather have it included in one package. And they would also like uh, to, you know, to keep it as the unique World War I simulation experience as it should be. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm getting some kind of weird noise in the background. <laughs> some weird music. Anyway, uh, so here's the rest of the gameplay footage for you to enjoy. And I will be trying to stream it this weekend a little bit, um, if there's anybody on it. Uh, I think there's a few. there were a few players on it at the time when I played this. And uh, a lot of bots on here, so... But it's still it, uh, the uniqueness of this game is in the base game, the initial release. Um, definitely worth playing again, but there's no real updates to it, so unfortunately, <laughs> it kind of died out very quickly. Uh, one game I wanted to mention before I left was uh, Hell to Lose that did it a little bit better as far as World War II simulator goes. Uh, it's a uh, it includes all the campaigns. You can get 100 players, infantry, tanks, even artillery. Uh, very dynamic. And it uh, all the campaigns are included. There's no separate campaigns to buy, um, which, which is good. But you can buy extra uh, aesthetic things like clothes and the other things uh, that you can buy on Steam. And they're usually $30, respectively. You can buy the entire bundle. Well, there's an anniversary edition, which is like $60. <laughs> but that's if you want all the aesthetic you know, things. So um, they're not really, they're not campaigns. All the campaigns are included in the, on Hell to Lose. And I would recommend that one um, because it has more features and you don't have to pay uh, the extra for the extra campaigns. You can just pay for the set of things, like I said. So I recommend Health or Lose instead. Uh, I didn't get that one. I got this one instead because it was a part of an older review that I watched. But definitely, definitely worth playing this a little bit on the base, base game. Try it out. See what you think. And uh, th this goes on for a little bit. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it play out and finish. I hope you enjoyed today's showcase. Like I said, they're not, it's not an in-depth analysis at all of it. It's not a review of it. Uh, if you want to hear reviews, there's plenty of reviews. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's an older game, so uh, not very many people are going to play it anymore. Um, just if you like uh, uh, a pure World War I PC game that really really gets the, captures the, the the immersion of what it's like in trench warfare this would be definitely a game i would check out but uh, also check out hell to lose and some other ones uh, there's plenty of other uh world war one simulator games out now but at the time when this game came out there wasn't many there wasn't much in fact i don't think there was really a uh, a bona fide immersive world war one uh, trench warfare simulation game. Wow, look at that guy's face. It's right in my face. <laughs> uh, at the hitboxes, okay, it's pretty respectable, as you can see here. I, I do kill quite a few people. Oops, got my binoculars out there. <laughs> um, you can see we have to hold the line there. We can't cross over. If we cross over the line, it'll tell us to get back in line, and then it will, like, insta-kill us. <laughs> There's tanks there, but you can't use them. Unfortunately, um, 
but uh, yeah, there, there we go. There we got some good stuff. There's no medics, I don't think. Uh, there are other weapons you can use, but I didn't see anybody else using them. It's just basically just the rifle, and I recommend using the rifle as well. The rifle is good. <laughs> it's it does it does the job. It does the job. <laughs> And for some reason, I'm getting some background music in here. I don't understand. Anyway, enjoy. It, it, it kind of adds to the atmosphere, I guess. <laughs> okay. There you go. Um, let's see. Now we have me loading. Now, pick, see, this is the, the clunky aspect of it, which is good. It simulates it. It creates immersion. You got to sit there and load and load. And uh, good. And you gotta gotta hide here for a while, and then pick up and hit the C key. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun. It's an older game. Uh, let's see. You can pick them off from there. I wasn't doing a good job there. <laughs> oh, look at that! Wow. <laughs> There's one scene in here. Some guys go flying across the map. It was actually quite funny. <laughs> <You know>, see. <laughs> Uh, I'm not playing this, by the way. Uh, I just recorded this Retake earlier. Our Take our positions. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, I think that's it. And uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay here. And uh, leave a comment and like and subscribe to the channel for more updates. I'll be doing political videos. I'll be doing uh, game showcases, live streaming. It's a pretty active channel. And I hope you like it. I hope you like some of the content. If you like the content, please consider donating to the channel. Uh, it's through my Streamlabs donations, or if I have a link there to my Patreon and Subscribestar account should be in there. Uh, but if it's you're doing it through Streamlabs, you can do it at Crumbly Cake 1969 is the is the preferable method to donate to the channel. All right. Thanks for coming out, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of this gameplay footage, and I hope you consider maybe joining this unique World War One game experience. And uh, yeah, that, that, should, uh, that should complete today's uh, commentary. There, enjoy.
Sortez Make ready! <laughs> <laughs> 